What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to continue building out our text editor with Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to continue building out our text editor, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership, it's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, it is Friday again here in Vegas, very exciting, and we're going to continue building out our text editor with Kinter. In this video, we're going to look at the new feature, the open, the save, and the save as. So let's head back over to our code. And let's come down here. First off, I forgot to put a save as. So let's come down here to our file menu. And let's just put a save as there. So okay, so uh, the first thing we want to do is create a new file thing, right? So we want to start a new file. So let's give this a command of let's say new underscore file. So, okay, let's go up and create this function. And I'm just going to come up to the top here and let's go create new file function. And let's define this. And what we want to do is take everything that's in our text editor, the, the box itself, our my text box, and delete it. So, whenever we create a new file, we have to sort of delete the old thing that was there. So, let's go my underscore text dot delete. And we want to pass in our parameters. So we want this to go from 1.0 to end. Remember, the first line of our text box is 1.0. And then the last line is end. So that will delete that. Now, we've also got our title right here, right? So we might want to add a little thing to our title. So we might might have changed this to a new file or something, right? So we can do that. We've also got a status bar. So let's go status underscore bar dot config and let's set the text equal to a uh, new file and let's give this like some space here to push it over a little bit so okay and down here for our other status bar i'm going to give this eight we had three spaces so one two three four five six seven eight now if we save this the reason why i'm doing that is if we run this again real quick so python text pad dot pi I put more space here so that it's sort of even with this scroll bar instead of being over here where it was. So now let's say we can test this out, type some stuff, then we come up here and file new, it deletes it, it says new file up here, it says new file down there. And okay, so that's pretty simple. Now we might want to do something else a little bit later with this new file and we'll come back to that. So okay, so that's the new. Now let's play around with a open. So head back over to our code. And let's come down to our menu again and find open and let's give this a command of open underscore file. And I'm just making up these names. These commands can be anything you want. So come up here, let's create another function. So uh, open files. So let's go define open file. And just like with the new file, when we open a file, we need to delete whatever, whatever was in there before, right? So we're opening a new file. So I'll just copy and paste this. So let's say uh, delete previous text, right? And I suppose we should do this and then comment this update uh, status bars, right? So, okay, we can do this. Now up here, we imported file dialog. So we're gonna use this now. So let's grab file name. And let's set this equal to text underscore file. And this is going to be a file dialog dot ask open file name. All right, we've done this before. And here we want to set that initial directory to C forward slash GUI. That's where I want to be saving my files. You can put anything you want, or you don't have to put anything at all. Um, but I want to set an initial directory. So I'll do that. Let's give this a title of open file and let's set file types equal to first off let's let's grab a uh, text files and that's going to be star.txt 
And then we can put as many as we want in here. So maybe we want also HTML files. So we can do that. And that's going to be star.html. Maybe we want Python files. So we can do Python files. And this is going to be, uh, let's see, star.py. And then we can always just do a catch all too. So for instance, all files, right? And to do that, we just do star dot star. So, okay, that looks good. So now when we open, before we open this file, let's add it to some variable. So I'm gonna go name and I'm gonna set this equal to text underscore file. And we'll see why we need this in just a bit. Well, actually let's just do it now. Let's go status underscore bar dot config and then set the text equal to name. And let's just look and see what this is real quick. So let's run this again. Let's open a file and say sample.txt. And when we do, we see down here, it's C GUI sample text. And that's fine here, but up here, I also wanna put the title and I wanna strip out that C GUI sample text, right? So let's do that real quick. So let's go name dot replace. And we want to replace C colon forward slash GUI forward slash with we want to replace it with nothing, right? So then I could just grab my root thing here, copy this, paste this. And now let's make this into an F string. And instead of it saying file name, let's pass in our name itself. Okay. And let's see. For our status bar, let's make this an F string too, and then put that. And let's give this some space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, this should be name equals name replace. Okay, that should work. So let's save this, run it again. Let's file open sample.txt. Up here it says sample.txt. Down here it says the actual directory location, and I think that looks pretty good. So, okay, that's some basic things. Now let's actually open the file, right? And let's give this a comment of uh, update status bars, whatever. And now let's come down here and go open the file. So let's go text underscore file, which is our thing we just grabbed with this ask open file name thing. And let's set that equal to open text underscore underscore file, and we want to open it for reading. All right, now let's create a new variable. I'm just going to call it stuff <laughs> and set that equal to our text underscore file dot read. We want to read all the stuff in the file. So we opened it here. Here we want to read what's in there and assign it to whatever this variable is stuff, right? Now we can insert stuff into our text box, right? So my underscore text dot insert, we want to put it at the end of the text box and we want to put in stuff. And then, and let's comment this, uh, add file to text box. And here we want to close open file, close the opened, there we go, file. So we do that with just text underscore file dot close. Okay, so let's save this and run it, see if that worked. So let's file open, sample.txt, boom, there it is. If we go file new, it deletes it. This says new, that says new. We can go file open, we can try something else. Say HTML files, I happen to have a sample HTML file in this directory, there it is. And now we get all the HTML, very cool. And we can file open again. Let's try some Python files. Oh, nothing is showing up. All files. That worked. Why isn't it the why doesn't the Python one work though? Let's look at our code real quick. So let's head back up here. Oops, go to the end of this. Ah, misspell star.py right here in our ask open file names thing. Let's save this and run it again. 
always test as you go. So open, open Python files. All right, there's our Python files. And now we're getting a bunch of Python code out. And you'll notice there's a little bit of formatting in there by default, and that looks good. Okay, so that's new, that's open. And now let's save as, let's work on that one. So let's come down here to our thing, to our file menu, let's give this a command of uh, save as file, I guess. Sticking with the same convention of open file, new file, save as file, right? And let's come up here to where our functions are and save as file. So let's define save as file. So let's create another variable. Let's again call it text file and let's call file dialog. And this is going to be ask save as file name, right? And now since we're doing multiple file extensions, Python files, HTML files, text files, all files, we need to determine what that extension is. And it's really hard to do that unless you set a default extension. And you can do that right here. So default extension equals, and we can set just dot star here. And that will give us by default all of, oh, I misspelled default. There we go, default extension. And like I said, that will give us whatever the file extension is, whether it's .py, .html, .text, or .anything, right? So, okay, we wanna set again our initial directory. And again, I'm gonna go C forward slash, C colon forward slash, GUI forward slash. And we wanna set the title to save file. And we wanna set the file types to, again, text files, and then star.txt. We also want HTML files, which is star.html. We also want, what do we say, Python files which is star.py and always all files as well. And this is star.star. .star. Okay, so that looks good. Now, right off the bat, we might open this file dialog box and then click cancel and not actually pick a file name. If we do that, we need to determine that. So let's start out with if text file. So if a text file exists, if we've actually clicked a file name, then we want to do stuff. And again, I'm going to set this name to text file because just like we did earlier with the other function. So we can play around with this. And let's just go name equals name dot replace. And again, we want to replace C forward slash GUI forward slash with nothing. And then we can set our root title. And let's just come up here and grab this guy. It's going to be the same deal here. And let's do the same thing with the status bar. Uh, let's see, where does that at? There we go. Just copy this. And let's do that before we replace the name thing. So, okay. Oops. And let's comment uh, update status bars. Okay, so let's save this and run it just to make sure that's working. So let's do some stuff, file save as, this pops up. Let's just put um, sample two. Uh-oh, looks like I got a, an error there too. Let's check that out. Before we go forward here, let's see. Yep, did it again. <laughs> did I do it again anywhere else? No. Okay, let's save this and run it again. There we go. So create some stuff. File, save as, and let's go sample two. Now we can type .txt or not. If we do that, it says sample two.txt here. Up here, it's just a sample two. Okay, so now if we want to click new and then file open, 
sample text two hasn't been saved because we haven't done that part yet. So let's look at that. So let's go save the file. So let's go text underscore file. And we want to again open this. We want to open the text file. And this time we don't want to read, we want to write. And that's W, right? Then we want to text underscore file dot write. And we want to write my underscore text dot get. We want to get whatever's in our text box. And we want to get everything. So from 1.0 to end. That should work there. And then again, we need to always text underscore file dot close our file. So let's go close the file. Always just best practice. So okay, that should work. Let's go ahead and save this, run it, bring this over. So this is sample two. Let's go file save as and we want to save this as sample two. Click Save. Boom, down here it says this. Maybe we want to put a little message that says saved, or we could pop up a box that says saved or something. Uh, but that looks good. Let's go file new. Then let's go file open. And there's sample two. It's been saved. We can open it again. It seems to work. We can open sample one. That seems to work. Toggle back and forth. And okay, now let's go down here and change this real quick because I want to add a little message there as well. So let's see, uh, save as right here. No, right here. No, right here. <laughs> so let's go saved in our status bar. Okay, so let's save this, run it one more time. Let's go, boom, 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 boom. Let's save as, and let's call this sample three. We can also type top txt if we want. It doesn't make any difference. And this is saved, has where it's been saved. Up here it says sample three. We can go file open sample, file open sample three. Okay, so it looks like this works. Okay, so we are coming right along. I was gonna try and bang out save as well in this video, but this video is getting a little bit long and this is a little bit complicated because save and save as kind of conflict a little bit. So we have to write a little bit of code to handle that to take more than a few minutes to do. So I think we'll just save that to the next video. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to that channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. They pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 45 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.